Hi, I'm Helena and today we're getting festive, so I'm going to show you how to make these lovely gingerbread stained glass window biscuits using a secret ingredient. Let's get started with our stained glass gingerbread biscuits. For this recipe you will need some dark brown sugar, salted butter, an egg, golden syrup, bicarbonate of soda, plain flour, ginger and our hero secret ingredient, boiled sweets. You will also need some cookie cutters. To get started with our gingerbread dough, we're adding some dark brown sugar to a pan. In with some salted butter. You could use unsalted if you like, but I think salted butter adds a lovely layer of seasoning to our gingerbread dough. In it goes. And then in with some golden syrup. Beautiful. And we are just gonna melt this gently over a low heat until it's lovely, homogenous, and thick. While that melts together, we'll prep our dry ingredients. So into a large bowl goes some plain flour. And of course, it wouldn't be gingerbread without the ginger, so we're gonna add two to three teaspoons. You could add more or less depending on your preference, and you could even add some cinnamon or ground cloves too to really amp up that spicy warming flavor. In she goes, and we'll just whisk that together. I'm just gonna make a well in the center of this with my hands, because we'll be adding our melted mixture to that in just a second. So our dry ingredients are mixed together, our wet ingredients are melted and ready, so now we just need to add some bicarbonate of soda into our wet ingredients. The bicarbonate of soda helps give the biscuits a little bit of lift. Bicarbonate of soda will fizz a little when you add it to the wet ingredients. Don't be alarmed, this is meant to happen. This looks a little bit like when you make honeycomb, if you've ever made honeycomb at home. The bicarbonate of soda needs something acidic to help it rise. That's the difference between that and baking powder. Baking powder doesn't need anything acidic to make it rise, but bicarbonate of soda does. And if you're thinking, oh, there didn't seem to be anything acidic in this pan, lots of things have an acidic pH, sugar included. Now this is ready, this is going into the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna crack in an egg to help bind it all together. I wish I was one of those people that could crack an egg one-handed, but I'm not. Oh, Oh, you say that, but that was quite good. No shell or anything. Obviously this is very hot and we don't want to scramble the egg, so you do need to mix it at the same time to cool that temperature down. <laughs> and we give this a good mix together and you'll see it form a lovely soft dough. Gingerbread is one of my favorite festive treats of the season. You can see this coming together now to form a lovely soft dough. And we just want to get our last bits of floury lumps all gone. And did you know, fun fact of the day, that gingerbread was originally invented as a digestive aid? So the more you know. Okay, we have our soft dough all combined and looking lovely. Um, covered, this will keep in the fridge for up to a day, so you could make it the day before if you wanted to, if you're getting ahead on all of your festive preparations. Right, off to the fridge with you. Okay, now we are going to utilize our star secret ingredient, these boiled sweets. Now you want to get boiled sweets that don't have a soft center. They need to be hard all the way through or they won't melt properly when we add them to the biscuits. And I'm gonna crush them in individual colors so that I get nice clear colors through my biscuits. Starting with the green. So we've crushed those up and you don't have to worry about the size too much. They can be a variety of sizes because we're gonna be filling the gap. So we can fill it with all odds and ends, all shapes and sizes, we do not discriminate here. And then we just rinse and repeat with all the other colours. Pink to make the boys wink. <laughs> and give it some welly. You could of course chop these with a knife, but this is way more fun. And as much as Christmas is a wonderful festive time of the year, sometimes you do have rage to get out, so this is a really good way of getting that out. <laughs> right, we've smashed our sweets, so let's get the dough out of the fridge. Okay, our dough is lovely and chilled now, and I've split it into two pucks, so it's a little bit easier to roll out. It should feel nice and tacky, just like this. And then I'm gonna lightly flour some parchment to roll it out on. Rolling out onto parchment just makes everything easier. It means that we've not got any gingerbread stuck to our work surface. It's a lot more stress-free, which is what you want for your Christmas baking. Okay, so let's roll this out. I'm just going to start to gently ridge it, like so, to get a rough, flat puck. And if you feel it sticking slightly, just lightly flour your rolling pin. 
To get an even roll on your pastry, you want to go once forward, once back, and then turn it 90 degrees. Okay, we have rolled this out to about two millimeters thick, so you get a lovely crispy biscuit. But if they're a little bit thicker, no one's gonna mind. Okay, this is where we use our cutters. I've got a lovely star-shaped cutter here, but you could go for snowflakes if you like. And we're just gonna push down and lift off so we get nice, crisp, clean edges. If you like, you can also use a piping nozzle or the tip of a knife to make a little hole in the top so you could hang them on the Christmas tree. And now we use our tiny star cutter to make the window of our stained glass window biscuits. Gingerbread dough freezes very well as well. So if you're really getting ahead for the festive season, you could make it in November or even October and defrost when you're ready. I'm gonna cut away at the excess dough, which can be reformed and re-rolled out for more biscuits and then we can add our sweets to our windows. There's our spare dough, ready to be re-rolled. And there are our lovely little biscuits. We've rolled and cut out our biscuits, so now we need to fill them with our boiled sweets to make our lovely stained glass windows. So you don't need too much to fill them. And don't worry if the sweet doesn't quite fill to the edges of the star, because when it melts, it'll fill that gap. These go into a 170 fan oven for five to six minutes. Here they are, our beautiful stained glass biscuits. You can see how the sugar is melted and it's filled that lovely star-shaped gap. It looks very cute, very festive indeed. We're gonna leave these to cool and harden completely and then we can ice them. I've got some glacé icing in this piping bag, which I've made out of parchment. It's just equal parts icing sugar to water until it's a nice thick consistency. And there we have it, our gorgeous gingerbread stained glass window biscuits, perfect for baking over the festive season. We've got a lot more content coming your way. Drop a comment below and let me know which recipe you're most excited to try. And of course, head over to goodfood.com or download our app for all the full recipes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.